Hello everybody, in this session I'm going to show you how to isolate a single object that's part of another layer. So as you can see here, I've got a townships layer, and in that townships layer I have uh, multiple objects associated with that feature class. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a new layer with just the one township inside it. So I don't want all the townships, I just want the one. So I'm going to isolate that and create a new layer for that one township. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to have to first select the object or objects that I want to isolate. So I'm going to go to my map tab and I'm going to select my select button. Just toggle that on and then simply select the object you'd like to isolate. If you've got multiple objects you would like to isolate then hold in your shift key and pick as many as you like. If you'd like to deselect objects again hold in your shift key and that will deselect things. Uh, once you've got an object selected, um, go over to the contents pane to the layer that that object is associated with. So the object I've selected is part of the townships layer. I'm going to right click on townships and then I'm going to go to the selection section. And in the selection section I've got an option that says make layer from selected features. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And what happens is I get a new entry on my contents pane. So you'll notice that in that entry I've got the one township uh, and only one township. So what I can do now is I can write that uh, feature class back into my geodatabase. So to do that, and as you can see in my geodatabase, uh, I only have the one township layer. But what I want to do is I want to export this feature class back in, or that layer back into my geodatabase and I'll have another feature class there with just the one township in there. So to do that I'm going to right click on township selection and I'm going to go data and I'm going to go export features. So I'm going to make sure I use that uh, layer called township selection that has the one township in it and I'm just going to call it one township. And that'll dump that back into my geo database as you can see here. I'm going to say run and that'll export that out and put that into my file geo database. So now I can go ahead and delete that, uh, that layer that was originally made and you'll see here now that I should have two uh, layers, one's in my uh, well data feature database and the other one is just in the uh, main entry of the geo database. So that's how you can isolate uh, a single object from a set of layers. Thanks for watching. Bye now.